Uh-huh. All right, got it. And got it. Yes, sir, I'll bring those files right away. Mr. Nigma. Hello, Miss Kringle. So I'm just looking for all the information you have on the goat murders from 10 years ago. Don't you find it curious why someone would resurrect the myth of a centuries old boogeyman? And what is it about the goat that has made two separate people decide to kill in his name? No, I, I don't find it curious. I think I would like your parents. Excuse me? Kringle, such a rare surname. Most people changed it generations ago out of embarrassment. Not only did your parents keep it, they called you Kristen. Kristen Kringle. <laughs> they must be very humorous people. Humor is so important, don't you think? Remember, you have to sign out any evidence you pull. How do you find anything at all in here? I mean, organizationally speaking, this place is a shambles. I am warning you, Nigma. I have this exactly as I want it. I know where everything is. Understand? Preternaturally. But I can help you, Christian Kringle. I doubt that very much. There is a much better way to do this. Oh my God. I'm improving your system. Implementing a rhizomatic cross index with your case files classified by subject, but arranged more like the way a peat moss organism grows. You know, laterally. I had this entire room organized. Yes, but now it will be rhizomatic, lateral. What did I ever do to you, Nigma? What did I do that compels you to come here with your endless notes and suggestions and riddles? My God, the riddles. Are you trying to get me to quit? You oh. can't want my job? No, 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 I want you to keep your job and to have it here for working. Okay, I'm getting the sense that this was somehow inappropriate. You are so odd. I'll just take my non-hierarchical data paradigms out of your hair and leave you to your work. Ah, uh, it's good to be back. Yeah, only a man from the lunatic asylum would say that. You're like a human roller coaster, except you only go down. Wouldn't that make you more of an elevator? You have anything useful, Ed? I got a little less than 20 hours before I lose my job. I do. Have something useful. And it is? I cross-check fingerprints. The clinically insane Jack Gruber of Arkham, he's a figment of the files. The man himself is really a career criminal by the name of Jack Bukinski. How is that even possible? Easy enough to bribe someone to change the records. Yep. Apparently, he wanted to be transferred to Arkham. It's really good work, Ed. What's this Batinsky's deal? Uh, Ed, uh, Batinsky. It's all in the files. Just make sure you sign out. It's classified information, so just be careful. Miss Kringle. <sighs> I believe you left this on my desk. It's a riddle. It's a cupcake with a live bullet sticking out of it. It's a riddle. It's menacing and weird and inedible. Thank you for the files, Miss Kringle. Miss Kringle. <gasps> what? <sighs> what? The cupcake is sweet, the bullet is deadly. A beautiful woman's a dangerous thing. Listen, I, uh, that is so, I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. Enigma, you perv, back off. Can't you see the lady doesn't want you bugging her? I'm, um, hey there. <laughs> hey now, who's bugging who? I'm just, I'm just, what's green and then red? Frogs in a blender. <laughs> Walk away, Enigma. Walk away. 
I'm very sorry if I've offended you, Miss Kringle. That was not my intention. Do you hear that? Go. Thank you. He is so weird. Can I help you with something? Did you know, Miss Kringle, that the earliest greeting cards dated back to Germany in the 1400s? I have a lot of work to do. This is for you. Doesn't say anything weird, does it? No, ma'am. Stop it. Come on. Come on. Dear Miss Kringle, your eyes are as green as a meadow. Your smile is as bright as the sun. Your skin is as white as a snowflake. It seems like your life is fun. <laughs> really? Oh, hey! It's the writer himself. <laughs> it's a real piece of work you got there, Perv. I wouldn't quit your day job if I were you. Roger Dodger. Roger Dodger? Stop it. <laughs> what a creep. Mr. Nigma? Miss Kringle. Am I interrupting? Yes. I'm surgically removing the onions from my takeout, so if you don't mind. Mr. Nigma, I owe you an apology. I didn't give Arnold the card. He found it in my desk. He has a strange sense of humor. I thought your card was very, um, Thoughtful, I guess. Anyway, I'm sorry. Miss Kringle, would you? No, 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 no. Please, don't say anything else. Just please. There's hope. Oh my. Fun fact. <laughs> the human species attracts members of the opposite sex via pheromones secreted through saliva, sweat, and urine. Gross. But one can always trust such an animalistic method to find a suitable partner. What are you trying to tell me? Arnold Flass was released. I know that you two were dating, and if the attraction wasn't intellectual, how could it be with that gorilla, then it must be physical. He's just, he's such a bad, bad, bad... I appreciate your concern, but it won't be necessary. I've realized there are far better men in the world than Arnold Flass. Miss Kringle. <clears throat> Oh, Mr. Nigma. Miss Kringle, I was wondering if you had dinner plans this evening. Oh, um, actually, I, I do, with Tom. H have you met Tom? You're the guy that likes riddles. Hey, what has hands but can't clap? A clock. Correct. <laughs> He's good. You're good. Am I correct to assume that this is your, uh, your new boyfriend? Yeah, yes, I guess so. You betcha. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Well, we should probably get going. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Riddle man, next time, I'm gonna stump you. Yes, next time. <laughs> 